What is going on, my beautiful people of YouTube? It's your boy, King Farnsey, and we're back at it with some more car simulator. Car mechanic simulator. Sorry. And uh, we're going to start off quick doing a couple quick junkyard flips. Uh, get with our welder and quick interior wash, make a couple quick bucks. And then uh, we're going to get into the garage expansion and the repair tables. So. Let's make our trip to the junkyard and go find us some cars. And I will talk to you when I'm back. Alright, so I am back from the junkyard. As you can see, I got three cars here. Well, let's move it in. I didn't buy any parts for these cars. This is just a interior wash and a frame weld foot. That's all we're doing. Keep it quick and simple. Use the equipment. Ooh, it's one of the pricier interior washes I've ever seen. <clears throat> and once you get like the car wash, like the, uh, whoops, that's not what I wanted. Uh, once you get the uh, wash bay, right here, then you don't have to pay a fee to do that at all. So like when I bring this over and go to use, I don't have to pay that 100 to 265 as we just saw there. I wouldn't have to pay that once I get that, but. It's not on my priority list right now, to be honest. So, let's get this thing welded up. 1600. Ooh, this thing was definitely not in the greatest condition. Whoops, I did it too soon. Alright, $3,700 profit. Boom. Sell the car. Like I said, that's all we're doing is just watching the inside and giving her a weld. Back. Oh dang, a couple of expensive interior washes. I wonder if I have a seat. Maybe I'll throw a seat or two in here. Nope, I do not. Steering wheel? There. Have a steering wheel. Spice this thing up. Actually, I might have a couple parts for this. Ah, uh, but you know what? If I do, I'm going to save those for when I actually go to rebuild one of these. Which I do plan to do. Alright. How are we looking? 54. Wow. Wow. Look at that. That's a good one. Well, we have another car to do. And we're already back to where we were before we went to the junkyard. So no matter what, this car is pure profit, baby. Interior kit. Actually, before we start this one, I want to see where are we at. Negative 461. Oof. Not great. Welder on. Ooh, that's a cheaper weld. Hmm. So not ideal, honestly, but we're still positive. Alrighty. Well, now that we have a little bit of exposable cash, we're gonna go ahead and get the garage expansion, baby. Oh yeah, feels good. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Now need my repair tables and my brake lathe. Brake lathe important. It's gonna save a lot of money. Boom. And we want the workbench. Boom. Uh. Yeah, we'll take the engine stand too. We'll get a little greedy here. Hmm. Body repair station? Don't mind if I do. Might as well get the battery charger. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'll get the car wash. Awesome. 
So we got our little uh, engine crane. Got a bunch of new workbenches out here. I'm super excited. Our little battery charger. Repair table for our parts. Our body. Can I even use this yet? Nope. We'll get there though. Oh yeah, look at all these discs. Oh baby. I'll get close. We got two points. Alright, so we need to level here. Get some more points. Our engine stand. I'm actually really excited. I really am excited for this brake light because now I'm barely ever going to have to buy any brake discs. Can I use... Oh, not can I. How much can I do? Let's start repairing some of these parts here. So if you don't know what to do for this, you uh, click the start repair with your mouse and then you basically got to time this to try and land it on a green. And so, and if you hit a gray, it's just to try again. If you hit a red, I don't want to do it because I don't want to wreck the part. Uh, but for example here, well you can see, if I, if I hit a red, it'll fail and drop it to a 35% uh, part. And then you have to try it again and hit a green to build that back up. This is a really, really good way to save yourself a lot of money. And us having this is thanks big part to that welder. That thing really, really helped the profits go up. So if you don't have the welder yet, I recommend getting the welder. Because once you get the welder, the rest of it's going to start coming a lot faster. Until you get the welder, it's a little bit of a grind. Awesome. I've got a bunch of parts done. Let's go move from brake lathe and put a new one on. And now, let's see what there are for jobs. Brake job. Oh. This one's a bonus XP, so I'll take that. Just gonna worry about this car because of the XP bonus. Move this in. And now that we have some of this stuff here, we can do a lot more for less. And do a lot more for nothing. So, part not discovered. Okay, I will do a quick examination and come back. Okay, so right as I was pretty much like two seconds into examining that, I realized and remembered that when it comes to the brakes, examining it won't get you anywhere. You'll actually have to look at them yourself, like physically, like do a walk around. Most of the time you can kind of see through uh, the rims, whether the calipers are bad, the, the brake discs or the pads, you can even usually tell just by looking through the rim. And if you can't, sometimes you'll have to take it off, but usually those are the really the three things you have to worry about and if it's not that then take a peek under the hood and look at the uh, ABS system one of those the module or the, uh, the module or the pump and I actually might as well have stayed in because if you can tell maybe this pump don't look so good boom 27 percent so now go see see boom right there it's either usually the first thing I look at or the last thing I look at. And there, as you can tell, there's a caliper in there. It looks like just the caliper on that tire. Here we got another caliper. Uh, that looks like a brake pad. Yeah, we got a brake pad. 
The caliper, I think, is still going to be above threshold, even though it's not the greatest. And then we got ourselves a brake disc. Awesome. So we got four things. So that's one thing at each tire. So let's tackle it. Now, if you remember from a little bit earlier in the video, we did some part repairing. And we repaired a couple calipers, I think. I know we did at least one. So, take that off. Part mount. We'll put our new one on without having to spend a dime. Oh yeah, we did a few. Good. Perfect. Beautiful. You know what? Cancel. I don't want to give him a new cylinder. Give him his old one back. Save that new one when I need it. So put this rim back on. And we'll head to the next tire. my bolt patterns today so hard. Well, alright, time for new caliper number two. Bam! And like I said, as we're gonna see soon once I get these last two uh, brake parts dealt with. Once you get the welder, which then leads you to get the garage expansion and the part repair table and the brake blade, the amount of money you're gonna see yourself saving is gonna be a, a lot. Like, it's gonna go up a lot because you're not gonna have to spend the money. I don't know if I have a brake pad. Yeah, no. That's the one thing. That's not the one thing, but that's one of the few things that you can't repair are brake pads. So we'll go to tablet. All right. So you do still have to get the brake pads, but they're, I think, like the cheapest part when it comes to brakes. So it's not that big of a deal. They're like twenty-five dollars, which shouldn't break you. If it does, then you get something to cause that. <laughs> and now move on to our last tire. Got the old brake disc off, put one of the new ones that we did. Bam. Replace the pad. Or not replace it, put it back. Put the caliper back. Nope. Cancel. Wrong cylinder. There we go. Okay. Now we're rocking and rolling. And now we got that tire back on so the car can roll too. Bam. All right. Didn't replace the ABS pump. Which I think is a part you can repair, even though I just bought one. Well, what am I doing? But I'm not sure exactly what level you have to be to be able to repair it. Unless that was maybe just a myth or a fib, I was told. But I don't think I'm at the point yet where I can. But you know what, actually? I'm going to go check. So I pulled that off, it's orange. So if I can, I can. I can! So, okay. I'm going to repair this for the next time then. Just quick while I'm here. Ah, oh, I failed! There, you got to see a fail. Actually, while I'm in here, I'm going to put another... Uh, break disc on here. And 
And then we gotta lift it because we still got that muffler. I don't think this is something you can fix either. Not even able to test it because it was a really bad part. Boom. Done. A couple more, or another set of quick junkyard flips. And then I'm going to head to the junkyard and find a car to actually start rebuilding. That's the plan. So, I'll see you when I get back. So, I was only able to get two cars with the budget I had of $14,000 going in there. But, the more the merrier because it helps maximize the value for your fee to go to the junkyard. So, uh, without further ado, let's pull the first one in and make some cash. Alright, what are we looking like? Are we negative? Oh, the frame's actually better condition than I want that to be. But we're positive. $70. Okay. I did buy the car wash, so we're going to see this for the first time for free. Boom. Free profits. Take the welder. So we're at a $2,000 profit, but since I do want to level up to get more points so I can start doing body panels, uh, I'm going to do a quick examination, so I will talk to you in a second. Alright, let's send this very beautifulish thing out on the road. Grab another one. Uh, I picked this one because the frame, look at this, it looks awful, which means, hopefully, Higher profits! What are we sitting at? 6% frame. Beautiful. But minus 840. That's not what I want to see. I was expecting a lot better out of that, actually. <sighs> but you know what, what I'm going to do then? I'm going to lift it. I'm going to wash it. How much, how much did that help us? A couple hundred dollars. Okay. A lot cheaper of a welding expense than I was expecting. How are we sitting? Okay, nice. Uh, go back. I take these tires off. No, nope. apparently not. <laughs> So if you're wondering, what I'm doing is uh, basically taking apart the brake assemblies because I can repair most, if not all of it. Wow, four rusty bolts on one tire. That's crazy. Uh, but I can repair most of it, bring it back to its uh, good self, and bring the profits up on this baby. I can repair most of this stuff too, but I'm not really going to worry about that too much. I don't want to spend too much time on it. <clears throat> Since I apparently made a not so great investment on this uh, on this car here, I want to try and boost my profits a little bit where I can. Some of these I'm going to have to put back on in bad condition, like for example that one, because I can't repair it. But I'm going to take what I can to repair. 
I could take the rims off the tires too and repair a couple of those, but like I said, I don't want to take too much time. Alright, got what we could repaired for this beauty. That looks like a beast. <laughs> Able to repair one of them. Better than none of them. Can't repair those. You know what I do gotta do? Continue with my brakes. I want a ventilated one on there. Continue putting this back together. Also, another thing, once you do have the uh, ability to repair your parts and stuff like that, uh, when you're at the junkyard, you can look through the junk piles and look for things like brake discs and front axle knuckle covers, things like, things you know you can use as well as repair. But just make sure they're orange or higher, because if they're red, you can't repair them. But, you know, buy things at a discount, repair them for free. It's nothing but profits, baby. That's what I'm saying. Put the bad one on the front. Oh man, I couldn't repair either of them. They're both shot. brakes everything hooked back up nice that brought our value up around close to a thousand bucks from where it was just touching up the brake parts that we could and just putting back on the ones that we couldn't so we'll go with a quick sell the car we didn't come back with much of a profit as I was wanting to be honest all right I did two more junkyard flips just to make a couple extra cash, as you can see in the top right there. And actually leveled up, too, as well. So, we're going to go spend a skill point here. Is that enough for body parts? Renovator 6 is required. Really? So, I need to earn another 10 points to get to the body parts, yikers. It's my fault for buying these, I guess. Well, I still wouldn't have it, I guess, technically, but let's go find a car from the junkyard. She's almost sold it for a loss. Attempted to do a bigger strip down than just the, the brakes, you know what I mean? Save that for another video. I'm just gonna do another quick break strip on this one and then follow the video. And then 
back in the next one. Uh, I'll probably do a little bit of offline work to get me to the point of uh, the body work so I can repair the body uh, panels and stuff like that. Just because otherwise I'm just going to be doing a lot of what you see in this video and I, that's going to get a little tedious. So I'll just wait until I get to that point for that. But once we get there, we're doing a full rebuild. I don't know what yet. We'll see what I guess the vehicle options come up when we get there. But we will be doing it in the next one. But, to make this one a little unique than the last that we've done for the uh, I will take the tires off of the rim and see if I'm even able to repair any of these rims. They don't look so great, to be honest. Whoops. Ah, this one looks like I can repair it. Not by a lot, not by enough. That's one thing too, is rims and tires do actually have and hold a decent amount of value for these vehicles. I have noticed. They're fairly expensive to buy brand new. So being able to repair them when you know doing a rebuild of a vehicle instead of having to buy those kind of things does save you a good chunk of cash. I have learned that from my offline profile. And ability. Alright, I got everything I was able to repair repaired. I'm gonna go grab the one brake disc I was able to do. Head back over. Oh, wait a second. One thing I forgot to do. That I said I was going to do. Well, that's going on when I can go like this. Multitask. Oh, that rim's not even repairable. That sucks. Which of this one won't be either. This is suckish. Ah, oh, this is good. all separated let's see how many I'm actually able to do here none because it's level five and I'm only level four so once you get to level five part renovator I guess you can do the rims since I can't do the rims put them back together they're all the same so it doesn't really matter the order we're gonna see a new level of multitasking though Whoa, not separate. Slow start to this new method already, gosh. We come here, go, boom, boom. Ready? Bam, bam, boom, boom. Boom. Take that off. Take that off. No, not again. Install. Bam. Balance the wheel. Bam. Bam. 
that up. Pick that up. Install. Ha ha, I did it right this time. Balance. Boom. We're speed running now. Two. Take it off. Take it off. Balance. Boom. I don't. Ah! This was my car. Whoops. Cool. Now, put one tire back on. Put another person right here. Oh, there's this. Look, looks like it's about to disintegrate. But it's about to become someone else's problem. I'm pretty sure I have some sort of bottle panels for this thing, so I'm just gonna do a quick scan. Front bumper, boom, just like that. Did I check the hood? Shame I don't have a door, I'm pretty sure I have that mirror. Hey, but I got that mirror. Well, looks like that's all I have, so go back to normal mode. We're gonna go to status, $3,000 profit. Send it on its way. Alrighty, I just wanna say a quick thanks for watching the video. It means a lot to me, and if you enjoyed, please smash that like button, uh, because you know, you liked it. And if you're new, or you just haven't yet, Feel free to hit that subscribe button for more content. You can stay updated for when the next Car Mechanic Simulator video comes out, when I got my streams come out on weekends, um, for future videos. Uh, you can have the all bell notification personalized, so it's just kind of the, the type of videos that I make you want to see, because, you know, maybe there's some that you like for, like, Car Mechanic Simulator, and there's something you don't want to watch, like... I don't know, my uh, me and Tyler's F1 co-op series. Maybe that just doesn't suit you. But that's okay. There's there's uh, different options, so you don't have to feel tied in or nothing like that. Without further ado, it's been your boy King Farnsey, and uh, I will talk to you guys later. Uh -huh.